Recent years have really shown us the importance of understanding the gut microbiome when it comes to things like ADHD and autism. And we know specifically that ADHD and leaky gut or intestinal permeability go hand in hand. So a good healthy gut lining looks like this that provides a barrier from toxins leaking through into the bloodstream. And a leaky gut or intestinal permeability looks like this where there are open holes in the lining of the gut that allow toxins and poor food products products and bacteria to pass through into the bloodstream and cross that blood-brain barrier. In people who have ADHD, the presence of leaky gut is much higher, the presence of inflammation in the body is much higher, and the presence of those toxins and bacteria that are leaking through into the bloodstream and through to the brain is much higher. So the impact of gut health is something that's still being studied and researched, but we know that there is a significant importance of looking after our gut health when we have ADHD, and so much of that comes down to the quality of the food that we eat, and in particular, keeping that food clean, keeping it preservative free, keeping it toxin free, organic and pesticide free where we can, so that we're lessening the toxic load on the body. Because when we have ADHD, our capacity to process those toxins, to break down certain nutrients, to deal with certain foods and food-like products is impaired. So the more that we can use clean nutrition as a way to support ADHD, potentially the better we can manage and control those symptoms.